I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yes! Nice. Hmm. Hmm. How's this? Very nice. Yes. Sure. <laughs> So, different materials produce different weapons, each with their own respective properties. We should probably move on. Come to think of it, what's my sword made of? What material would it make sense with? Claws? Fangs? In one ear and out the other. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after e <laughs> What? <sighs> mm-hmm. Sure. What? I'm not so sure. Right. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. Hmm? What? <laughs> Shion. Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword. like that <laughs> if you get any closer you're going to set off my thorns you know 
I was just trying to compliment you. You were? <sighs> what now? Sion, your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those Gates of Fire. I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel, and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. And it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power. After all this time, it's what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any- She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah, he's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. I 
I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, but I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there, but it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. Hurry up and go to sleep. I can think for myself, you know. Yeah, but the last thing I need is you dragging me down because you're too tired. I'll keep that in mind. I swear you can't walk five steps without tripping on a zoogle. This is getting old. Yeah, but wasn't it you Renans who brought the zoogles here from Rena in the first place? They're not just ordinary animals from Rena. Each of them has been modified to suit a particular purpose. In fact, some zoogles were originally derived from the animals on Dana. Or so I've heard. What? You Renans couldn't stop at just the people of this planet? You had to screw with our nature, too? You can get angry all you want, but we have bigger fish to fry. So, are you going to work with me or not? <laughs> I will. It's in both of our own interests. Why am I here? Would it kill you to be a little more friendly? I don't see how that's necessary. Look, for the time being at least, we're working together. You don't have to make this harder than it already is. In case you've forgotten, the two of us may be working together. But the only reason we're even teamed up right now is because our interests happen to overlap. Otherwise, why in the world would I be working with a Danon slave like- I am not a slave! <sighs> I'm not a slave anymore. Not since I chose to fight. I've left that life behind, and I'm better for it. Understand? I'm sorry for yelling, but please don't call me that ever again, okay? <sighs> okay. going to be whipped or killed here ever again. Hey there, Doc. Hmm? Who are you? It's me, Iron Mask. Though these days I go by Alfin. I finally remembered my name. Alfin? I heard that was the guy who brought down Balsif. Wait, you're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own Iron Mask? Of all the people. I told you, I'm Alfin now. And I didn't overthrow Balsef alone. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it. But now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renan? I'm not saying it to any old Renan. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway... I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. 
We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh! Have you tried searching Kirt Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. Good idea. We'll take a look. Kirt Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick. You look happy. Do I? I guess I am. Getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know? It made it really hit home that we made a difference. That guy's a strange one, though. Doc? I don't think he's that odd. He is, though. He thanked me, a Renan, for helping. Despite everything my people have put him through over the years. He's free now. He doesn't have to act nice around my kind. He's not acting. He means it. And like he said before, he was thanking you as an individual, Xion. Not just some Renan. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that. It's just... hard for me to understand him. Think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzebek, we should maybe have Doc double check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. Did you find anything useful? We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd hurry over and give it to the girl right away. Right, then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Alfin now, right? Are you and that young woman planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself. But I feel like after being stalled for a long time, the gears of progress are finally starting to turn again. I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is right. If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But... I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact. But you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, 
our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks. But now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason, I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred either. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you too. You have to come up with your own answers.
Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? Normally I don't pick on the weak. There, don't go charging off the tables on. Could you try to be less patronizing? I didn't mean nothing by it. What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Sion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. Double demon! Burning strike! What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Let me know if you're struggling. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Xion. 
What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. I take it we're heading through here, then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed, and then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... Uh... Let's go. What is this place anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. Are you just going to keep standing around, or what? Sorry, I'm just getting prepped over here. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Burning! Pathetic! Imagine there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statue. It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? 
Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renin surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renin's. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. That's why the world needs people like us. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Pathetic! I should think about eating soon. Really? Not all that hungry myself. Don't make me say it again. Uh, yeah, good idea. I'm sure I can put this to use. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I won't forgive you. Here I come. You're finished. That was almost too easy. Let me know if you're struggling. That Zuga looks tough, but... I think we're game for it, yeah. Let's dispose of the trash. Let's do it! This ends now! 
out! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on in that thing. Uh, yes, my lady? Do it! Something you wanted to say? This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Together, that wasn't even a problem. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> Let's dispose of this trash. Who wants to die next? Well, take a look at that. <sighs> Out of our way! Blood. Severing wind! Out there! Tear! See ya! Talon sword! Breaking blood! We're in good form! Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zoogles here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more up front than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. 
It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. Hmm. <sighs> It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Ha-choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Ha-choo! Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Eh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are, or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? These little ones are hardly worth it. Less talking, more pummeling. I'm sure I can put this to use. What could this be? I noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
báo Wow Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? What could this be? Could this be normally I don't pick on the weak houses in a place like this people really live all the way out here the whole area is just little villages this one's Messia 224 wait I hear something Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. The same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms, being your own master, thinking and making decisions for yourself, and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. 
I hate seeing Ganon suffering under them here, too. Silence, Embedded! Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm! <sighs> Damn it! Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! <laughs> what? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares to find the orders of his lordship? Know your place, slave! We can't use the blazing sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? What the hell? Here. Zephyr! I can't lay a finger on you. What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! Zephyr! Got it handled. But he just... He's my son. <sighs> oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. <laughs> We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called Bright Eyes after all. Sorry.
You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time, even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of time's passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danons enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection, what are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. 
It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Ah. Uh. Easy, Xion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Rinwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle! Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Xion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. <sighs> hey. Hmm. Hey. Ugh. Yes. Great! Huh? Huh? <sighs> Enemies who can cast astral arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt astral arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. 
After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. Woo! 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 Looks like we've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Gotta break through! Fire's Pour that in your dreams. Pierce the evil. Here I come. Dance in it's the wind. Over. Freeze like wind. Mark Here. Is that the Zugu we're looking for? No Fires choice. Here I come. That should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. Hey, Rinwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning, as soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. Woo! Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Hey. Huh? Till next time. Hmm. Huh? I guess. Oh! <laughs> of course! <laughs> Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Huh? Hey. Ugh. Sure. <sighs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 
Using zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the snake eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. There! Whoa! How's this? Yeah! <laughs> hmm... What? just like we expected. Yeah. Do you think we'd end up like that if we had to treat everyone with suspicion? <gasps> it's like the bitter cold has frozen the hearts of those who live here. You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <gasps> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? S Sisludan. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet. You're trying to get us all killed. Out of hell with that. Go on, report me. See if I care. I thought this Cisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many snake eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Cislodin it is. People are really terrified of the snake eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the snake eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisladin. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with him on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisladin anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us, then. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go f Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? 
I only have one pair of hands, you know. Shion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I'd refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. <sighs> I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> Because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them and see how it goes. So this is the forest teeming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. I'll have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When things get real bad around here, you can get lost without even realizing it. Hi, Hoodle! Hear me, Flame of Shadows! Now you're on my watch! Glacial Fear! <laughs> Together, that wasn't even a problem. Oof. It's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly then. Huh? Go no further! Run. There! Run. One more! Infernal turret! 
Looks like it could be worth something. Gotta break through! You Never are mind. in tip-top shape! As soon as I'm done here, Short come thing. help out. This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. Why has it got to be so winding? And not only that, why there's so... Go no further! Portal blade! Fire! Block! Again! Shoot this! Thanks, Shion. Just doing what I can. Get lost! You are in tip top shape! As soon as I'm done here, come help out. How could a girl ever say no? Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Choice. Double demon <laughs> What's wrong? Huh? I guess. <laughs> Got it. For real? An opponent like this should be easy. These little ones are hardly Fire worth our off. time. Let's talk. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Barely a blip on our radar. I found some equipment. Let me take a look at it. Company, and not the nice kind either. Rinwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target, at least. Astral energy! Say no more! Done! Well done! This one is still almost in the bag. Astral energy! Say no more! <laughs> you okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine. What do you notice now? It smells like blood. This is... All these Zoogles... They're dead. What happened here? They didn't do this to each other. So then how... Did all of this?
Who was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again. There it is. Sisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's Nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. <laughs> <laughs> 